Hi, I'm Dr. Otten with Cell Access. In this short blog, we're going to talk about turf toe, otherwise known technically as flexor hallucis longus tendonitis. So there's an injury, essentially, to this long tendon. And this long tendon pushes down or flexes the big toe and gives you that spring in your step when you're sprinting, jogging, or walking. This tendon is prone to injury like any other tendon in the body but specifically this tendon because it has to push so much weight every single step or every single stride that you take. Like any other tendon, it's poorly vascularized, meaning it doesn't have much blood flow. So, if it's injured or when it's injured, it takes a long time to heal and it typically heals inappropriately. Conventional methods of healing this are typically putting patients in a boot for four to six weeks, physical therapy, or even steroid injections. The problem with all of these modalities is they don't treat the tendon pathology or injury. They only allow it to rest and begin to heal. Because of this, this problem often reoccurs. There are many different athletes that everyone's heard of that have suffered from this problem, including Tom Brady and Deion Sanders. In the last 10 to 15 years, regenerative medicine has specifically been utilized to treat this injury because of its high improvement or its high success rates. Specifically, we've utilized both platelets as well as potentially autologous, meaning your own stem cells, to regenerate this tissue. These procedures often take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes upwards to an hour to perform and have significantly long-term effects and long-term improvement on this particular injury. In order to diagnose this problem appropriately, you need a couple different pieces of the puzzle. The first of which is a proper physical exam, and the second of which is imaging, whether it be diagnostic ultrasound or an MRI. These two pieces of the puzzle are crucial to make the appropriate diagnosis and to treat this problem appropriately.